Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing the Adidas Yeezy 700 V3 in the Arzareth colorway. Now this is the third colorway of the 700 V3s and personally this is my favorite. Now there's a the cream one and the triple black but the fact that this is a nice blue colorway definitely stands out from a lot of the tonal Yeezys that Kanye has done and for that reason I really like these. I think they pop out a lot especially on feet and definitely one of my favorite Adidas drops this year. Now these aren't for everyone, I definitely understand that. They're definitely a really futuristic and kind of awkward looking sneaker. But personally I really like it and they are actually pretty comfortable. So definitely a big fan of the 700 v 3s I'm a really big fan of this light blue colorway as well. The colorway reminds me of the Adidas Pharrell Human Races, the human being colorway that originally dropped. I get that kind of a vibe from it and I'm really digging it honestly. So in this video I'll basically be talking about all the details of the sneaker, showing them up, up close, telling you guys my honest thoughts about them. Talk about the pricing and what will likely happen on the resale market with these and also i'll talk about the sizing of these shoes as well and without any further ado let's get into the details of these yeezy 700 v3 arzarets all right starting off with the box basically i have a basic yeezy box with the 700 in the front on the back side it says yeezy 700 made by adidas and then getting into the label of the sneakers right there yeezy 700 v3 official colorway is the arzareth also, a quick note, these do come with an extra pair of black laces in this pouch. This should be how your pair comes. Getting into the shoes, first thing I want to show is this tag. Just take a quick look for legit checking purposes. That is the tag on these. With all that out the way, let's get right into the shoes themselves. For the average person, these definitely look very weird. Now, if you're a sneakerhead, you're used to this kind of design. But it's basically like a jet ski type design really innovative and in my opinion really nice actually it's not your average pair of sneakers that's what i like about it you know kanye is always innovating new designs and they actually look really good on feet now let's talk about some of the details of the shoe so obviously here we have a blue knit mixed with some gray inside and then we have like this translucent misty green tpu cage on top now the reason i like this cage is because the colorway actually differentiates from the knit so it is pretty visible honestly and I'm a fan of that. I know a lot of people wish this wasn't there, but I personally like it. I think it gives it like this nice futuristic look. But that's the lateral side of the shoes. The knit is actually really soft and it's going to be really comfortable, honestly. And then this is just like, I guess, to keep it really intact and make sure your foot is secure. But getting into the medial side of the shoes, we basically have the same thing with the wave design right there, as you guys can see. Now, this part is dented in on the midsole. This is going to give nice comfort to your foot. It's kind of molded like a human foot, basically. And then the back does elevate. It's kind of like the Easy 380s. If you guys are familiar with those, it's kind of flat and then it curves up. Now, this is for comfort purposes, obviously, but... Design-wise, I don't know. I mean, it might have looked a little bit better if it was just flatter. Like, I feel like it curves a little too much. But at the end of the day, comfort is key. And I'm pretty sure that's the reason they did that. Looking at the back of the sneaker, here we have the Adidas logo stamped on the midsole right there. And then going up, we have that TPU cage again, followed with a knit. And then we have the ankle collar right there. Let's take a look at the front right here. Now, we have this weird material not like suede honestly from the pictures for some reason i thought it was suede but it's not but this basically is like an overlay to the toe now it's a nice cream color it definitely you know offsets the rest of the sneaker i don't know i mean i would have liked it more if this kind of wasn't there i feel like the design itself would look a little nicer now obviously one reason would be just to keep the front i mean this hits a lot of places just to keep the sneaker intact so it doesn't rip that makes sense it holds the sneaker in place Going up the sneaker, of course, we have like a black tongue going up. This is all just one piece. It's not like detached from each other. Now, underneath, obviously, it's detached, but the rest of this part, like the tongue is all connected to the collar of the sneaker. I really love the lacing system on these. Obviously, as you guys can see, we don't have any lace tips. This is basically the tip right there. And this is really practical, honestly, and looks great as well. I think a lot of sneakers should actually start implementing this lacing system on their shoes. I feel like it's easier to wear. It just looks cleaner. Like you don't have to worry about your laces, you know, covering up the majority of the upper of the sneakers. So I'm a really big fan of that part. Here we have some 3M hits. As you guys can see, when you put flash on this, it is going to hit 3M. And that continues all the way until down there. That's really good. Really nice touch to the sneakers. Now this collar part, I just wish it was a little bit wider. Now I didn't have a problem putting my foot in honestly, but I feel like if it was wider, it just been a little easier. Kind of like the 350s, I just slip it on. But I mean, honestly, it's not hard getting your foot inside with that being said, it just could have been easier. That's the point I'm trying to make. 
But taking a look at the insole of the sneaker, we have the Adidas Yeezy and an Ortholite right there. And these are actually really comfortable with that Ortholite inside. Let's talk about the midsole really quick. I haven't had another pair of 700 V3s. This is my first pair, so I thought this would be a lot softer. But it's actually really like stiff and hard. Like it's, it doesn't bend in. Now, obviously, there isn't boost inside this. That's why it's like that. Usually with the Yeezys, with the 350s, you're used to it. Because even though it's a capsule enclosing it, there's still a boost underneath. This, there's no boost. And because of that, it's very hard. Now, that'll probably soften over wear, honestly. But initially, it is hard. But it, when you put the shoe on, you don't really feel it too much. The only restrictive part of the sneaker that I'm feeling when I put it on is this front area. And talking about that, I will get into sizing towards the end of this video. But getting right into the outsole, we have a milky translucent outsole. And we have white and yellow underneath it. It's a really nice design. Take a look at that really quick. Now, this is going to yellow over time. That's the one negative. But the positive thing is you don't really see it from the front. It's like that. Now, if it was a little bit higher and you saw it, it wouldn't look that great. But on the back area, you are going to see that yellowing. Kind of like the Easy 350s. Now, let's get into the sizing of these shoes. I would definitely go half a size to a full size up. Unfortunately, I didn't. And these are pretty tight on me. I would... 100% recommend going at least half a size up. You could probably get away with a full size up. Uh, it might actually be more comfortable for a lot of people with wider feet. It's just a really narrow. This part gets really narrow towards the front and it starts constricting your foot. This back part isn't bad, but just the front area is super restrictive in my opinion. I don't really have a wide foot per se, so I'm, I'm pretty sure if you have a wider foot, you would want to go a full size up. If you ha don't have a wide foot, then at least half a size up as well. I'm definitely going to try to get half a size up with these. I will do a quick on feet so you guys can see them. Now, obviously, my foot fits in, but it's just really narrow on the front. So I can't put this on for like over 10 minutes to start really hurting my foot. Now, let's talk about the pricing and the resale down the line. Now, with these right now, they're going for 350 to 400 depending on the size. And honestly, these were pretty limited. Now, I know a lot of people were able to get them on the confirmed app, but trust me, numbers wise, they are pretty limited. Um, there's still a lot of people who weren't able to get them and the thing about these is that the original colorway Sometimes is a pretty good indicator of how future colorways are gonna do as long as they're kept limited Now with the original 700 v3s now they're at like, you know 800 to a thousand dollars depending on the size and the triple black colorway that came out previously before this one That one also started around like 340 now. It's going up to about 400 to 500 dollars and you know these i think are a better colorway than the all black one it definitely stands out more and it's closer to the og colorway as well again the numbers on these are probably a lot higher than the original one that's just how it always works but i do see these going up in the future again right now they're about 350 to 400 i could see these going you know five to six hundred a few months down the line obviously that's just my opinion but with the new model on kanye's unless they really start saturating the market with 700 v3s which i don't really see happening um, the prices on these will continuously go up. So if you do have a pair and you don't want it for personal reasons, but you also aren't in a rush to make your money back, personally, I would just suggest holding on to your sneakers. Again, I just want to clarify that's my opinion. If you want to sell it and make your money, go ahead. I I, I just think it's a good long-term hold and it's a super clean colorway. So a lot of people are going to want this down the line once a lot of people start wearing their pairs. So yeah, this I think is a good sneaker to hold for long-term. And with all that said, let's get into the on feet of these so you guys can see how they look on feet.
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching that review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, these are the Yeezy 700 V3 and the Arzareth colorway, the third edition of the 700 V3s and definitely my favorite of the set. Really glad I got to pick these up for retail from the Adidas confirmed app. Let me know your thoughts about them. I know a lot of people aren't gonna like this shoe because of just how you know weird it looks, but I know there's also a lot of fans out there. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you.